So the new COVID variant, uh, B11529, now has a name, Omicron, and it's been labeled a variant of concern for good reason. Now, variant of concern is different than variant of interest and means that we have some scientific evidence that suggests that this thing is going to be a threat. Omicron has 32 spike protein mutations. Compare that to Delta, which had just nine spike protein mutations. Now, these mutations could make the virus more effective. It could be more transmissible. It could make our vaccines less effective. It may increase severity in hospitalizations and deaths. Some of these mutations we've seen on other variants of concern, and some of them we think are bad news. But in real world data, which is where we really see what's happening, there's also some bad news. One PCR test seems to indicate that people who are infected with this variant carry a very high viral load, which as we saw with Delta, increased transmissibility and also seemed to lead to more severe illness. There's an early model that suggests that this virus is more transmissible. Delta, for example, was about 70% more transmissible than the original Wuhan virus. This variant appears like it could be 500% more transmissible. This graph, I think, gives a good visual representation about how much faster this variant is spreading compared to other uh, viruses like beta and delta over on the right. And we just see this B11529 just skyrocketing straight up. And as I'm making this video, the U.S. has announced that they're banning travel to nine South African countries. Uh, could be seen as politically motivated just to show that they are doing something proactively or that they've seen real world data that suggests that this is needed to protect against a faster spread of this variant. So just to build off the post that I made yesterday, now's not the time to relax. Uh, we still need people to get vaccinated, need people to get boosted. We need people to continue to be careful, continue to wear your mask when out in public. And let's just keep a close eye on this and we'll see where it leads.